guys. Got the TRX4 here on the bench today, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of modification to it. Um, I went ahead and ordered a servo winch because I've been wanting one since I started the hobby, and I'm out of channels on my receiver. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the front diff lock servo and replace the front diff with a locked up RC locker. Um, comes with the little plug to insert in the hole for the cable. And I've already taken the wheels off and we're gonna go ahead and take the front axle out. So here we go. All right guys, got the whole axle out now. Figured I'd go ahead and take it out so I could shake it down, change the grease in it, you know, make sure everything's looking good. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna put this locker in here and see how she does. All right guys, got the diff cover off, got the knuckles pulled out, axle shafts pulled out. So now we're going to take this lock unlock unit out of here. And first thing you want to do for that is remove this little tiny C-clip. I like to use a pair of jewelry pliers. I do a lot of wire bending and wire wrapping. So these work fairly good. If these don't work, then we always got the little flathead screwdriver. And oh no, I lost my clip. Well, hope I don't want to put this back in. All right, let's uh, weigh these things out and see what they weigh. Got the TRX stock differential there. Got the gear, locking mechanism, and you can't forget the C clip. And like 23 grams. So now let's go ahead and take these off real quick. And we're going to put the locked up locker on there. 38 grams. So that's definitely an improvement in weight. Can't wait to get this thing in. Just a little installation note for everybody. Um, when it, when it comes to inserting your axle shafts into your locker, make sure you do a dry run before you get it inside of your, inside of your housing. Um, on the website, it tells you that the tolerances are very tight and you might have to give a little love to the ends of your axle shafts. Um, as you can see, this one here, it doesn't go all the way in. So it needs a little bit of love. And uh, the way I did it with the short side, is I just took a piece of 220 sandpaper and put it on the edge of my bench here. And then I just back and forth, real nice and smooth, evenly across. So you get the whole surface area of that part of the shaft, flip it over and do a little more. Um, I've already done the short side and it goes in pretty good now goes right in there with no issue. So let's try out this long side now that I gave it a little bit of love. Probably is going to need some more. It's getting better. It's getting better. But just make sure you guys check that out before you load this locker into your housing. Okay, we got the locker installed. And I want to show you guys how it looks once it's installed. And then I also want to show it side by side with a stock Traxxas TRX4 locker here in the back. See the difference right here in this chunk. You can see the difference. So that's where the added weight's at. Really went in nice and smooth. I'm going to go ahead and put the diff cover back on and get this thing back underneath my rig. Been six days of dad life and uh, just now getting back out here to 
get this thing done. Okay, micro servo is out. Axle's back underneath the rig. Um, not quite gonna take it out on the rocks yet. The whole reason I did this project was to install this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I close everything up and take it out on the rocks. Um, the weight difference of everything ended up being right around four grams. Um, so not that much of a difference, but at least it moved um, about eight grams down to the axle instead of being up on the chassis. But then I'm gonna put that in there and that's gonna be over that. So it's not really gonna matter weight wise, but now I'll be able to run my winch. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. Like, share, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.